In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a connection to Freshdesk and Clinico on NAN. And this is going to be a HTTP request using the basic authentication, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have had issues with. Uh, I have, that's kind of why I'm making this video, uh, just to simplify it, because it's really not that complicated once you actually do it. But that's it. Uh, if you guys do end up enjoying the video, make sure to like the YouTube algorithm. And I hope you guys enjoy. Go ahead and work on the Freshdesk HTTP request. So in case you guys are wondering about this workflow, it will basically just assign the ticket to the right department. And uh, that's pretty much what it does here. But I'm trying to have like auto respond as well. Uh, currently, I have it set as just doing notes. But now that I have it working, it can also go ahead and uh, respond as well. So the way that I got it working in case you guys are having any issues with this is the basic auth. So if I look at their documentation, let me just pull that up. So if I go into the documentation and I go into conversations, cause that's where you can add notes and then you can also respond as well and just have your replies to those tickets. So right now I'm doing, this is a reply that you can do. And it's basically the same thing as what I have, except mine is notes instead. But if I were to scroll down, we have notes here. This is the one that I'm doing. I want to do notes first, just to see the responses on the tickets. Once we feel comfortable, then we can have it start responding. So this is what I have here. I'm pretty much grabbing the ticket ID that I get from my autorespond AI agent and it will just create an autorespond. I was trying to add it to the tools and just program it, but for some reason the HTTP request wasn't, wasn't working properly. So I ended up just doing it this way. But anyway, so I added this here. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with this. If you guys ever use NAN before and then uh, for the authentication, instead of using none, I use a generic credential type and I use a basic auth, right? And then in here for my credentials, I went ahead and just put in the uh, the API key. And then for the password, it's just gonna be X, uh, cause you don't really need a password. They even tell you in here, uh, if you see it here, uh, your API key and then X, you don't really need a password there. You can kind of read through it. And so you don't really need that. So in here, you just can put X and then put in your API key in here and then hit save. And then from there, go ahead and make sure that your content type is application that JSON and your body, you can send uh, JSON, add your fields, body, um, just grabbing my response from my AI agent. And if you want to, if you want the uh, note to be private, you can do that either true or yes. So that's it. So if you set it up this way, it should work. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just make sure to comment down below, or you can reach me on my website, luxdesigns.com. And I'll go ahead and try to help you guys out. This is a post request if you guys haven't noticed, but that's it. Let's move on to Clinico. So I have a webhook and I'm attaching this to an HTTP request. So if I go into that, a part where I can see a lot of people get quite hung up, because I also did as well, is setting up the basic auth. So uh, one of the issues that I have is I was adding it in the headers, which wasn't working. So what I did is I went ahead, instead of doing none, I did generic credentials here. And then I chose basic auth. And then from there, you need to go ahead and add your credentials. So just hit the edit button. I've already added mine. I'm going to have this blurred out. But just add your API key that you get straight from Clinico. You don't, if you're looking at the documentation, you're probably thinking that you have to uh, base 64 encode it. You don't have to do that. They will already do it for you. So just grab the API key that you get from Clinico. And then for the password, you can just really type in anything. I just put X. So if you just put X or pretty much any character in there and then just hit save. So make sure that you set that up for your sent headers. Just make sure that it's set to accept and then application slash JSON. And then if you want to send a body, definitely should do that. I'm sending this just to the contacts and I'm grabbing this uh, JSON from my, or at least a data, I'm grabbing it from my webhook. And then I'm using a little bit of HTML here within these brackets to convert it into a, uh, a JSON. As you can see, I have this and it's outputting it just like this. It's really simple to set it up. So if you want to copy it just like this, you can just add your parameters and everything in here. And then for the response, this is really optional. Include response headers of status. It's up to you, but that's just uh, optional there. 
So if I were to go ahead and just, let's just test this out, right? Let's see if it goes through. So we can see that it went through here and it added the contact in there. Obviously if it didn't work, it would tell me that the, the error that I was getting before is that I need to go ahead and fix my, my authorization credentials. So that's how I fix that issue. So hopefully that helps you out. But if you guys need help with any of this, just you can comment down below or you can just contact me through my website. I'll have a link in the description. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And uh, if you guys want to see any of my other videos, I do a lot of WordPress stuff and Elementor. Uh, I'm going to be diving deep into more NAN videos and more AI automation stuff because that's really what I'm getting into more. And maybe I may even come up with some uh, bubble videos that I'm thinking about. But um, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.